fivefold uh, gubernatorial offices mentioned there in Ephesians 4, 11, and 12, how God gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, and teachers. I've been to just say that we're in the season today of master teachers. If you're in agreement with that, give God a great big hand of applause. Because many of you can't take that handkerchief and say, the Lord said, you know, I, I can't even do it, Bishop Watts. You know. But uh, you could stand flat foot and talk about the things of God with some sense and stop butchering the text and doing violence to the word of God and shredding the holy writ. It's important for you to treat things that are consecrated and sacred, sacredly, and not desecrating those things that are sacred. And that's what we're all about at Next Dimension University. We want you to be able to handle the Word of God well. And we want you to be able to articulate the Word of God well. God gave me the book concept, All God's People Are Called to Be a Speaker. Come, come on, say, I'm called to be a speaker. You're going to have to speak. You're going to have to preach the gospel. You're going to have to teach the Bible. And you're going to have to communicate well. And so we take authority over your inability to speak. We take authority over any handicaps. We reverse the curse. We cancel the assignment. And today your tongue will not cleave to the roof of your mouth. You're going to be able to articulate the things of God well because we've got the truth and we're minoring on the truth when the counter-Christian groups are majoring on a lie. And they're taking you with your truth and twisting you up like as though you are a pretzel with your doctrine because you are stuttering when it comes to uh, articulating the things of God. Come on, say, that was yesterday. This is today. Come on, say, this is the dawning of a new day. And God is doing a new thing in my life. If you believe that, give God a great big hand of applause today. Would God bless you? I just want to share that in brevity. I'll be back to give you your, uh, well, part of your send-off, but I want to respect the dignitaries on the roster. We do things decently and in order, and so I'm going to turn this back into the hands at this time. Come on, give God another great big hand of applause right now. At this time, I want to introduce a very good friend of mine. Uh, I didn't know he was a seven-time Grammy winner. I didn't know he had all these, his credit and his, his um, uh, that he was so, you know, popular, if you will, and had so many things on his resume, the word that I'm looking for. I didn't know his resume was this um, credible, my God. So we thank God today for Dr. Eric Chambers. I'm going to have him to come today, and he's going to give awards to our sacred music recipients. So come on, give him a great big hand of applause as he comes today. Good afternoon, Next Dimension University. Good afternoon. I first give honor to God from whom all blessings flow. I honor our Chancellor McLeod. I honor the ministers of the gospel, my good friend, Dr. Chip Murray. I'm so excited to see you. And to each of the people who've gathered here today to be honored, I'm Dr. Eric J. Chambers. Two years ago, I was one of the recipients here from Next Dimension University to receive and to be bestowed an honorary doctorate degree. And I honor you guys for doing that for me, and especially Dr. Rose Parker Sterling and Dr. Rani Gupta. And because of those ladies, I am here, and I've decided to pay it forward. And they're going to give me an opportunity to pay it forward by honoring some of the people that I've played on my Jasper radio show for the last 21 years. For those of you who don't know, for 21 years, I've been the host of a show called The Jasper. If you like jazz and gospel, you'll love The Jasper. 21 years, 1,000 episodes, and some of the artists that I'm about to, uh, all of the artists, I should say, that I'm about to bestow these uh, awards to, they're going to get their doctorates later, but they are all staples of my show, and I couldn't be more thrilled for each and every one of them. We began with the incomparable, the talented, the gifted, the beautiful, my friend, Yolanda Adams. Also, my friend also, he's a phenomenal artist. Many of you remember him back in the day from Commission. Now he's on his own. Give it up for Mr. Fred Hammond. Another artist who 
has been blessing us all over the world. We see her on TBN and so many other stations all over the world. She's gifted, she's talented, she's Judy Jacobs. And of course, you just saw a couple who performed just a few moments ago. I remember them from back in the day as a young lad at St. Stephen's Church of God in Christ in my beloved city of San Diego, singing a song called, I Am Dedicated to You. Anybody remember that song? Put your hands together for Nicholas, Phil and Brenda Nicholas. And then also, um, I'm not sure, I don't think he's here, but in his absence, he's a guy who has brought us phenomenal music over the past 20 plus years, including 99 and a half, just won't do, Mr. Hezekiah Walker. So take a look at these gifted artists. They're going to be receiving their honorary doctorates in just a moment uh, later in the program. But before that, I wanna just do a quick something something here. Uh, Give them a chance just for 30 seconds to say what this means to you to get your doctorate today. It's an honor uh, to be here. Thank you all so much for all that you've done, especially New Dimension University to all the graduates. God bless next. Well, it's new next for me. <laughs> Thank you all for laughing at the joke. It really wasn't appropriate. I'm so sorry. God bless you. Uh, I appreciate it. Really do. Okay, Yolanda Adams. Fred Hammond. Um... I didn't start out to get this. I didn't start out to get a record deal. I didn't start out to get a Grammy. I didn't start out to any of that. I just felt as a young kid, I wanted to tell somebody about the Lord. And I, I made decisions and choices. I took down because the word of God says, he that humbles shall be exalted. And I watch God exalt in many different situations. So to get this award and to get this doctorate, it's just God's way of saying, you know, I told you, if you follow my word, if you follow my word, I got your back. Awesome. Fred Hammond, Judy Jacobs, what does it mean to you? As a Native American and the baby of 12, I am so distinctly honored today. Uh, I, I look back on my life and I see a little brown Indian girl that uh, everybody thought was so shy and so backward as I was. But something happened when I turned 12 years old. The Holy Spirit came into my life, changed my life. And today I give God all the glory and all the honor. It all goes to him. I'm very, very honored today. Awesome. Phil and Brenda Nicholas. And we're not doing a doctor today, but this award uh, is so incredible for us because we, you know, like we said earlier, you got to keep your priorities straight. You have to family, but above all, keep God in, in the center. We, we've talked about marriages, and uh, that's something that's close to our heart, and we've tried to have a biblical marriage and, and encourage folks to just stay strong. And above all, though, Jesus Christ Here with a great in the center of every relationship. Welcome and an amen. She's singing tomorrow at Loveland Church, in fact, and preaching. How many believe Jesus is coming back? If you believe it, shout, Amen. Behold, He comes riding on the clouds. I'm expecting him today. Come on, do it, do it. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hey. Days of 
And these are the days of your servant Moses Righteousness being restored And though these are days of great trial Of famine and darkness and sore Still we are the voice in the desert Crying, prepare ye the way of the Lord Behold ye Lift your hand and wave at him tonight. Come on, church. These are the days of the harvest. The fields are as white in your world. Yes, and we, we are the laborers in your vineyard, declaring the word of the Lord. today right here in Los Angeles California come on students you're gonna have to know this one thing lift it nobody like nobody like Jesus he's the El Shaddai he's the mighty God he's the everlasting father he's Jesus he's Jesus he's Jesus he's alive Give your life to him, I promise you will be 
healing power. He can 